Dr. Uh, Ty Corbridge uh, from Sandpoint, Idaho mm -hmm. with uh, Mountain Lake Dental Care. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how long you've been with Chris Ed. Um, I started in with Chris Ed in 2015. Um, I was um, from the downturn, the financial downturn. I had my own practice. It was in a small town. Um, I didn't realize this till later in Chris Ed, but I was doing pretty much everything wrong. <laughs> Um, we, we did great care, but um, there were just a lot of procedural things that we were, we contracted instead of expanded. Um, and so once I, at that point I was working uh, three days a week and then I, I had to supplement in you know, a different town. Um, and uh, I don't know, I, I talked to Josh and he kind of, he told me what it was going to take, and it was uh, kind of a big leap of faith at that point. I thought that the problem was um, my community. I, I didn't have faith in my community. I thought we were oversaturated, and, and I don't know. And, and once we turned that paradigm shift around, um, I think we tripled in the first, we doubled in the first, I don't know, we'd have to look at the stats. I don't know how I'm right off the bat, but... Um, within a year or two, we, we had tripled our um, production. I stopped working the other spot, put everything into my practice, and we're working really almost five days a week uh, within about a year or so. Um, and then I was, a, you know, I was a three-op practice when I started there. We needed to get the fourth. I had a, we added a fourth, but it's a very small. Um, facility. I live in a pretty small town. It's a resort town, um, which I love. It's great. Um, you've been there. Ble blessings and curses, <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> yes. But yeah, I have a hard time getting staff. But, um, you know, we did, I pretty much just bought in and just said, all right, I'll do everything. And, uh, and then tell they us told me to do. Yeah. Tell us about the kind of the, the next leap of faith. So you went through this uh, four op practice. You knew that you outgrew it. And then the real game began, right? Yeah, and and so then it's like, okay, um, you know, my wife at first was uh, a little a little concerned with some of it because she pays the bills and whatnot. But I think what really kind of came down to it is um, the risk of being a sole proprietor. I mean, I'm very active. I ski both water and snow. I do a lot of active things, um, and. You know, if you get hurt and I'm responsible for everything, I'm the engine, it, everything stops. I mean, that starts to get, you know, as you get a little older, that gets to be Yeah, you important. got risk, risk factors, right. right. Um, and so, so then we knew, okay, all right, we need to have associate to distribute that. Um, and, and then the real, then the next leap of faith uh, was how are we going to make this work in, in four ops? Uh, there's not a lot of commercial space in my uh, community. Um, so kind of figuring that out, we, and, and I knew the numbers were there, but it was hard to get somebody here with, so I just had to work a bazillion hours. Um, and, and then I broke down on a new building because I, I knew that was the only way I was really gonna be able to get visibility like I needed and whatnot. And that was a big leap of faith. So trying to do that plus, plus the associate, plus then the pandemic came and, and those, um, those challenges. But um, I, I, I found, Again, I just, I try to do what you guys all told me to. I had faith in that because I'd seen it work. I'd seen it work that first year. It was just like boom, boom, boom. I'm like, holy smokes. Um, so, you know, and then, you know, and they tell me, all right, it's time for an associate. I'm like, okay, I got to get a war chest, you know, or whatever. And, um, and so, like, right, right at the, you know, like, uh, I guess it's probably September. I'm like, all right, we, we, we've got to do this, and um, so I kind of went forward, and uh, things have been really good. I mean, um, yeah, great. And so, what is your uh, what's the end game on this? Where do you want to be? What's your ultimate goal? Well, so my new op or my new facility had six ops. It's built for eight, really nine. Um, 
I, at this point, I'm, uh, I love dentistry and I want, I, I'm getting a little bit overworked on it at this point. Um, but I don't want to kill myself to I don't like it, but I'm excited actually for the more, to be more hands-on on the business side of it. Management side, great. Um, and uh, I mean, that, that, that there's always so much to learn in dentistry, but it's pretty exciting to me to really look at numbers and see how you can now start fine tuning um, systems and see the outcome. Uh, and I just, I want to have more time to do that. And that requires me to step a little bit more away from the chair. So that's where I'm, we're getting ready to add a second uh, associate soon. Great.